I want to talk to you about the platform as well, the messenger RNA platform, which is a revolutionary piece of science. So we've never used this platform before to produce and to distribute vaccines in, in this way. What came to light, I think, in the past week specifically when we got the news about Pfizer and, and BioNTech's vaccine is the need for cold storage and incredibly cold conditions and the complications that that creates in distributing these vaccines more broadly. Can you just compare the requirements for Moderna's vaccine and whether this makes it easier to distribute than, than some of the competitors? First, let me say that, as I've said in, in the previous uh, uh, occasions, I've, I've had the, the pleasure to be talking with you, Julia, is that is that we very much uh, support and want multiple vaccines to be available, and they will each have uh, relative strengths and weaknesses. So, so I will say I'll congratulate our colleagues at Pfizer for having already gathered the data needed to support their advancement, because we think from a production standpoint, the world will need multiple suppliers and, and, and as much uh, volume available as quickly as possible. Now, to your specific question about Moderna's own technology, we spent multiple years pioneering the messenger RNA space. Uh, we've been at this for 10 years. And in the last few years, we actually have been working hard at coming up with more stable formulations of the vaccine that allows us to avoid the deep freeze, minus 70, minus 80 degrees, uh, conditions. That is where we were several years ago as well. Uh, I'm pleased to say that the innovations made by our brilliant scientists at Moderna have taken us to the point where we can have our, our product stored at minus 20 degrees, which is uh, refrigeration conditions that are available quite broadly. But more importantly, today we announced that beyond the fact that we don't need the deep freeze conditions, we can also, and we validated, keep the vaccine under refrigeration conditions, that is two to eight degrees centigrade for th up to 30 days. That is a massive uh, enablement to be able to distribute uh, much more broadly and much more easily. And we continue to make improvements in that regard. Furthermore, we've also shown that you can have it at room temperature for up to 12 hours coming out of uh, the, the, the storage conditions. So in many ways, we think that this is an important part of the usefulness and ease of use of the vaccine, which if we're talking about hundreds of millions of, of doses will become a very important consideration.